everyone, I'm Tenny Panosian, beauty blogger and YouTube beauty guru, and I'm so excited to be here with Allure talking about something that I'm so passionate about. We are gonna talk about my nighttime skincare routine. Now, if you happen to miss it, I did a morning skincare routine, which you can check out right here. And of course, now I'm gonna show you my nighttime skincare routine. And I'm so passionate about this just because I've put so much time and research into really perfecting a routine that works for me. Uh, if you don't know my skin type, I'm more on the dry combo, um, normal side. Um, I just, I just, I just named every single one of them. <laughs> my particular skin type is sort of on the dry, normal side, um, and I am acne prone, so I've had to be really um, discerning about the products that I use for my skin, and of course I've been through a lot of trial and error. <laughs> um, and like I said, I've come up with a routine that really works well for my skin. And of course, if you are a different skin type, if you have oily skin and you found something that works really well for you, go ahead and share it down in the comments, because I'm sure there's so many people who would love to know about it. Um, so as for my routine, I'm just gonna hop right into it. So first things first, before I get into taking all this makeup off, I'm going to pull my hair back. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the whole process, beginning to end, cleansing products and all that stuff. And I know sometimes a lot of us get a little bit lazy and don't really uh, pay attention to getting our skin nice and clean before we go to bed, uh, but I am obsessive about this. No matter how tired I am, if maybe I've had a little too much red wine, it doesn't matter. Every single night without fail, I have to go through this routine and just make sure that I've done everything I can to get my skin nice and clean. So I've got a full face of makeup on right now. Um, so the first thing that I'm gonna do before I actually get into cleansing is remove my makeup with a wipe. Just use any drugstore brand. It really doesn't matter which one you use. You might have a favorite. Um, so you just wanna grab one of the um, makeup remover wipes and get about, I'd say, 70 to 80% of your makeup off and then go into the cleansing process just to make sure that you get every last trace of makeup off. So I'm gonna grab this guy and just go right in and just gently going all the way into my ear and under my jaw because we tend to neglect this area when we cleanse. For my lazy gals out there, I've done it. And then I start noticing, hey, why am I breaking out out here? <laughs> That's why. So getting all of this off. Again, just making sure you're getting all the way under your eyes. You'll notice I'm not removing my eye makeup with the wipe because personally, I do not like to do this. Uh, I just firmly believe that when you're removing your eye makeup, you wanna use something really slick, like an oil, which I'll show you. Okay, so moving on to the eye makeup. I mentioned that I've only ever used oils to remove my eye makeup, and that's because anything like a soap is just too harsh for the eye area. You have to remember that your eye area is extremely sensitive, the skin is a lot thinner around here, and of course you've got your lashes. You don't wanna compromise those. You don't wanna lose lashes. And actually, if you're using an oil on your lashes and your brows, that's gonna condition them, and it's actually gonna help them to stay strong and not fall out, and maybe even grow longer. We all know how difficult it is to get mascara off. Sometimes it takes two, three passes at it to like get every last trace of it off, but when you use an oil, it just really breaks up the product and allows it to slip off without damaging your eyelashes. So. I'm a huge fan of oils, and of course I've tried so many different kinds. There's actually a lot out there that I like, but the one that I'm using right now that I'm loving is by Julep. This is their um, cleansing oil with rosehip seed oil, which I know is great for your skin. Um, what I do like about this is that it's not such a heavy oil that it leaves like grease behind. Once I rinse it off with warm water, it's gone. It doesn't leave anything behind on my skin. Um, so that's one reason I love it. And it's just like a really easy to use pump. So I'm just gonna show you how I remove my liner and my mascara. So I've got my product here. I'm just gonna put, usually I put about two or three pumps. So we'll do, let's do four this time just to be really thorough. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort of distribute that over my fingers. And what I'm gonna do is just start to massage this at the base of my lashes really gently because you wanna be extremely careful with how you handle your eye area. And so I'm gonna continue massaging and this stuff, I mean I can open my eyes and doesn't sting, nothing happens. That's another, um, I guess another benefit to using 
oils. I look fantastic right now, don't I? <laughs> All right, so now that I've got all the mascara off, I am gonna run to the sink. I'm at the YouTube space in LA. I'm not in my bathroom, so I've gotta run over and rinse this off, so don't go anywhere. I will be right back. Whew. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> and you can see that I've got all that oil off and the mascara's all off, so now I'm just gonna go in and pat dry. And of course, again, you wanna be really careful with the eye area and just pat dry as opposed to um, wiping dry. So now I've got a nice clean face, and now I'm gonna go in for some really deep cleaning. Enter my Clarisonic. I know a lot of you must be um, fans of the Clarisonic. I actually just started using this, I wanna say like three months ago. I'm kinda surprised as a beauty blogger I hadn't tried it until just recently, but I finally um, caved and I said, you know, let's, let's give this Clarisonic a shot. And I'm really glad I did because um, I'd heard so many mixed reviews about it. Some people said it made them really dry and some people said it made them break out. Personally, I've had an excellent experience with the Clarisonic. I find that it gives me a really, really deep clean and it's kind of, it's almost like a little massage, a little spa treatment at the end of the night. And the reason that I went in with a wipe and cleaned off my makeup first is because with the Clarisonic, I feel like if you go right in and start cleaning your face with your makeup on, you're sort of just swirling the makeup around and that doesn't sit well with me. It just makes me feel that I'm not getting the deepest clean possible. So that's why I went in with the wipe first and got most of the makeup off and then I used this to get that deep clean. I told you guys I was obsessive about this stuff. <laughs> Now the cleanser that I use on my Clarisonic is one that I just recently discovered a few months ago. I was in Las Vegas at a conference and a friend of mine out there has a laser skin clinic and uh, she had given me little samples of um, the Skin Medica AHA BHA cleanser and I, it was my first time trying it and I liked it so much that I ordered the full size cleanser. This stuff is awesome. Now if you don't know a whole lot about AHA, BHA, really it's very simple. It's alpha hydroxy acid and beta hydroxy acid. All that means is that this is gonna do an extra good job of exfoliating your skin. A lot of times when people think of exfoliation, they think of like coarse scrubs, but really acid products exfoliate your skin, glycolic acid, uh, lactic acid, and the AHA, BHA also does a really good job of exfoliating without being harsh on your skin. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna put this cleanser onto my Clarisonic, and it's really simple. I'm just gonna put it right onto the brush, directly on there. And I just kinda like to make a little circle there, just around the brush. And actually, I'm gonna need a little bit of water, so give me a second, I'll be right back. Gotta go to the sink. All right, I am back once again. So really all I did was just wet the brush head a little bit so that it's not just a cleanser, it's water too. So here we go, I'm gonna turn it on. And again, press it to my skin. Now one thing to keep in mind with the Clarisonic too, you don't have to do this with the, the brush. It's already doing the work for you, so all you have to do is move it to the different parts of your face. You're not actually doing this motion, so watch. There it is, so it stops on its own. You don't even have to time it or anything. That's the thing about the Smart Profile is it, um, it sort of just knows when to stop. It knows exactly how much time it really takes to really get a deep clean in your face, so it's really foolproof. All right, now that I've got my skin nice and clean with the Clarisonic, I'm gonna head back to the sink and rinse my face. Woo, there we go. Just went out and rinsed my uh, cleanser off, so I'm gonna go in and, again, just pat dry really gently. Okay, so now that I've taken you through the cleansing process, I know it was pretty involved, uh, I'm gonna show you the products that I um, put on my skin right before I go to bed, beginning with an eye product. I like to do this just because the eye product that I use is a gel, so again, kinda going with um, the consistency of a product, you always wanna start with um, serums, gels, and then moving on to heavier creams. So the product that I use for my eyes is the Ulla Henriksen uh, Ultimate Lift Eye Gel, and this is a great product. First of all, simply because it comes in a roll-on form, you don't have to like open a like a tub of it and use your finger and put it on. 
It's a nice little cooling uh, roll-on roll product, so it's nice and cold, so it kind of soothes your eyes. Um, this is great because I, I just, it kind of has everything. Wrinkles, puffiness, it really just um, soothes kind of fatigued skin. I've had really, really good um, results with this. So again, really easy to use. You're just gonna go into the same areas that I sort of patted with my finger, um, just in this sort of like a C shape right here. So I'm gonna go in here and apply gently, and then going into the brow bone. And the whole theory with the brow, the brow bone with um, an eye cream or any eye product is that you apply it here and it's just naturally going to trickle down a little bit lower and sort of target this area too. So all you really need to do is make that C right there. And you don't need a whole lot. And because this is a gel, um, you kind of, once you put it on, you feel kind of that cooling sensation. Um, I'm just gonna leave this on for about a minute and just kind of let it sink in before I move on to the next product. All right, that's about enough time. I'm gonna go right into the face cream. Now, typically in the past, I've always used um, a serum first and then followed with a face cream, but lately I've sort of changed it up and I've eliminated one step. Now I'm only using a face cream, which is this guy right here. I mentioned earlier that my friend had given me samples of the Skin Medica products to try, and I actually need to stock up on this because it's almost done and I love it. Um, this is a mini sample size of the AHA BHA cream. I use the AHA BHA cleanser, and um, this is the corresponding cream. I, I I don't know what this stuff does. It's like magic, but ever since I've been using it, I just find such an, an improved texture in my skin. My skin tends to have just those tiny little bumps. I don't get cystic acne or anything, but I just get those little like little mountain ranges across my cheeks sometimes and this stuff is just kind of it's been smoothing out my skin really nicely it's probably a combination of the cleanser the Clarisonic and this but I've been very happy with this stuff so far and I'm definitely running out so I need to buy the full-size product so that's about as much as I will use um, it's a nice rich cream so it's good for me um, with the dry normal skin so with this I'm gonna go in and just pat it into my skin. Sort of massaging that in, just to get that blood flow going, and to really get it to absorb nicely. And anytime you're applying a product to your skin, you wanna kind of press upward as opposed to like swiping downward, just to kind of keep it nice and lifted. So that completes my nighttime skincare routine. I know I covered a lot. It was a lot to take in, but like I said, guys, I'm really passionate about this. These are all products that I've, you know, I've been through so many different um, trial and error kind of products, and these are the ones that I've settled on as like the ones that really work for me. None of this stuff is sponsored. These are products that I've truly tried and loved myself, and I use these every single night. So of course, if you have favorite products of your own, please leave them down in the comments because I am always up for discovering new products. So thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you, Allure, for having me on. Love sharing my skincare tips, and of course, I showed you guys how to take off my makeup, but I do have a beauty channel where I can show you some great makeup tutorials, so you can check it out there. And of course, don't forget, I also shared a morning skincare routine that you can see right here. I'll see you guys very soon, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Good night.